I have salad every day at my house, different type of salad. It's very difficult to get a very good salad in a restaurant. To be tossed properly, the right temperature, the right amount of vinegar, right amount of oil. So the first thing you do with this is to do a vinaigrette, and uh, a classic vinaigrette is done with mustard, vinegar, oil, and so forth. Very often when I have a jar of mustard like this one, you can look inside, there is about, uh, Maybe two tablespoons of, uh, of mustard left at the most, maybe not. You could have more, you can have less, it's fine. So in this, I'm gonna put some salt, pepper, vinegar, in that case, red wine vinegar, about a third of it. I want to have basically four times the amount of oil for the amount of vinegar. Sometimes I like it even five. My wife is like three. So I mix this in, so it mix, and the rest is oil. One of the other mistakes that people often do, I'll put this, is that they want the sauce to be totally emulsified. They don't want it to break down. Well, it should break down most of the time. And the reason is that when you do a salad, you mix it with this and you want that salad to be glossy. So if I want to put uh, garlic in it, as I do here, I will do it at the last moment or on top of the salad, if I keep that a week or two. When you do garlic like that, as you see, I cut the end of it. Then you crush it. By doing this, you will release the skin. The skin will come out very easily, as you can see. And then you crush your garlic. That releases the essential oil in there. I'll put a little bit in that one. With that type of vinegar, I like something fairly assertive. One of the salads I like to do at home is a cauliflower salad. Cauliflower is here. And I would present that directly on a plate. Whoop, okay. Maybe I'll cut a little bit through it so it absorbs a little more of my vinegar. It's probably a bit of crushed paper on top. Maybe a dash of salt. Maybe I'll put a bit of a lettuce around. Okay, that's one way of doing it. And here is my vinaigrette now that I'm, I'm putting on top. And as you see, it's pretty thick with the, the mustard, putting a little bit on the salad. Good. Maybe a piece of uh, basil if I have around. And here is a cauliflower salad. Okay, next I'm going to show you a salad that I'm almost sure you've never seen done. That's my mother's recipe and it's salad à la crème. Salad with a cream dressing. I have a quarter of a cup. And this will be less caloric than your salad with oil. Remember that a tablespoon of heavy cream, that was 50 calories, a tablespoon of oil is 130. So salt, pepper, and I'm going to whip that cream. I won't whip it long, I'm going to whip it 10, 15 seconds. So here, see it starts getting thick, creamy, and that's it. At that point, I put a bit of vinegar in it. When I put the vinegar, you'll see the whole thing is going to hurt and it gets much thicker. So a little bit of uh, white wine vinegar here. Could be the other one. You can see the texture here. It's quite thick. My mother would be proud of me. So now lettuce, Boston lettuce, one of, my, one of my favorite. You have to clean up your salad properly in a lot of water. You have to lift it up out of the, the water, not pour it out in a colander because there is dirt in it. Lift it up, then drain it. And even after it's drained and dry, you don't want to bruise it when you take it out. Even this, I put that in there and I thought it was pretty dry. And you can see that the amount of water which came out of the salad again. So this is very important. People often don't drain that salad enough, and what happens is that there is two, three tablespoons of water in it. Completely dilute your, uh, your dressing. In there. Salad should not be tossed too long ahead or it gets wilted, but it depends. This won't get wilted that much. The reason is that there isn't that much vinegar in it. I love that salad. I mean, for me, it's kind of a visceral, Things, you know, the dishes that you have of a child stay with you the rest of your life. And my mother probably there would put a little bit of tarragon, 
We use tarragon a lot here. You may or may not use tarragon. You know, it's other. Okay, the salad that I crème with tarragon. Next one, we're gonna do a tomato salad. And it's only good if that tomato is ripe. And those are pretty good. You put your thumb to remove the pedoncule here, so-called, that part here. If I do it for my wife, I would peel the tomato. So now, if I peel that tomato, it's likely that I may peel it with a knife like that. If I have a lot of tomato, I will put it into a boiling water for like 10 seconds, the tomato comes off. But if I do peel it like this, like I would do for my wife, then I may actually use the skin to do a, a flour with, to put on top of my salad. Two strips you do. The first strip with the base, and that will go here, and that will come right on top of it to form a base. And then the second one, you do a tighter scroll, and notice that when I cut with my knife, I move in a kind of jigsaw fashion that gives me texture here, and that's what I want. So the second one is a tight scroll to put in the center of it to have my large rows here. Okay, I like to cut my tomato in thick slices this way. That should be more than enough here. All right. So, I will put that maybe in a flat thing like this, arranging my slice of tomato all around. If you have large slice, and put the large slice on the outside. I mean, it's not like you're gonna go to jail if you do it the wrong way, but... Okay, a little bit here, here, there. All right. I have my rose here. What I do with the tomato, very important. You want to put the salt on top of it, let it marinate a little bit with the salt. I may take some basil, of course basil of tomato, nothing more classic than that. Put this other base for my, for my flowers here. All right, now crack paper. And sometimes, especially in full summer, I don't even put vinegar on it, just a virgin olive oil. If I put vinegar, however, like this, I will take a, a cork, a wine cork like this. I cut it around a little bit, so you have a wedge here. And that's it, you know, when I need vinegar, this is it. So here, maybe a slight piece of vinegar, but not much, and then, the extra virgin olive oil, quite a lot of it too. Beautiful on top. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you for watching.